red light jumper. Seems to be a day for that today. Good afternoon everybody, Cam Biker here. And I'm out trying out my new levers. This is the first time, it's been on about a week. And um, I'm really kind of thinking about this bike being a dry weather bike, mainly because it's harder to clean. Although it's wet today, I'm just fed up of not trying out these levers. Um, so yeah, I've been waiting for the weather, giving up waiting for it. It's kind of sunny-ish, it's not too cold, but the roads are damp, but hey ho. I thought I'd try them out, there they are. New levers. Shorter than the old ones, which makes it feel a little bit different. But the adjustability is brilliant, so I've actually I've brought them in further than I technically need to, closer to my hand. Um, to make the clutch and the brake feel the same as on the XJ6. The clutch particularly on this comes in really quick as soon as you start to squeeze the lever whereas the XJ6 is more progressive and more gradual I suppose um, and it means that when I jump off one bike and onto the other like I did when I had that puncher I end up getting close to stalling or you know, I don't get the best gear changes, so that's kind of kind of nice helping it out. And I think they look smashing, the new ones. Uh, and I've been pulling on my brake quite hard just to make sure it doesn't snap. Devon Mellon was the one who uh, had me worried about that. So uh, he's, I know he's snapped one of his Chinese levers. Um, and there's a few other people have mentioned that because the Chinese, they're bound to be rubbish. To be fair, not bound to be, but. Some people have said uh, privately they will be crap because they're Chinese. Other people have said publicly that they're not that impressed by Chinese things or that they might not be as good as uh, stuff made in Japan or Italy or wherever things are made. So I don't know what you think about that. I mean, Tosh, I know, has got Chinese levers on his and he swears by him. Certainly compared to the £100 plus for the uh, non-Chinese ones you know, assuming that I don't kill myself if one snaps because it's the brake that snaps and I hit a truck or something um, you know, I can buy six or seven pairs of these for the price of one pair of the uh, more expensive levers so, I don't know it's a difficult one because, you know, when it comes to safety you shouldn't really be scrimping but a hundred pound really for or £130 I was quoted for a pair of levers really? really? 130 quid for them little bits of metal? you got to be kidding aren't you? anyway they feel pretty tough um, so you know hopefully they'll be alright I mean they've got this bit here at the end that little notch which I'm assuming is where they're designed to snap if you uh, hit them I know Devon Mellon said he was he hit his against his garage wall or something and snap them. I know they are designed to snap off at that point if you drop your bike. Uh, hopefully not just catching on a wall mind you but um, but so that if they do snap if you drop your bike at least you've got a bit of lever left to play with even though it might be a bit sharp at the end to get you home. Assuming you've not damaged anything else of course. So uh, I don't know maybe Devon Mellon if you watch this video you can let us know was it the whole thing that snapped or is it just the end piece or uh, what happened if there's a video point me at it because uh, I've not spotted that one if there has been that kind of gets me thinking about Chinese things in general I mean I, I have a feeling that it's going to be like it was with cars with the Japanese where when they first first started coming across here everyone said oh they're rubbish 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 and I think at first they probably were and then they got better and it's been the same I think with uh, your your Korean cars and gen generally your Far East. It, I mean, when your Hyundai's and things started coming across, they really really were horrendous things. The first ones, um, very ugly, not particularly reliable. Nowadays, the reliability is right up there, and some of them are looking pretty cracking as well. I mean, I had a Hyundai Coupe, the S3 version, for quite a while. In fact, 
fact, it's the longest I've ever had a car was a Hyundai Coupe S3. I had it for five years. And I got rid of it when the warranty ran out. Five-year warranty tells you something about reliability. I suspect the whole Chinese thing is going to be like that, that initially, you know, there was a lot of rubbish coming over and it's probably going to get better and better. Part of the problem, I suppose, with the Chinese is their lax uh, attitude to copyright. So people are just copying things and selling them. I saw a horrendous video of them testing a Chinese helmet. Somebody putting a hammer through a Chinese helmet and it looked like it was going through paper. Which is terrifying. But, um, and it was a Rossi replica as well, you know. It was a AGV replica, so not, not a cheap thing that they were copying. And trying to pass off as the real thing. And I know there's a, you know, some of these Chinese bikes have been... I don't like to have a go because I know people who watch this have got the same type of bikes that have got problems, but I know that people have had a go about Spicy 110's bike and the number of problems he's had with it. And I think even Spicy said, you know, if you're going to get one of these, then you're going to be uh, need to be a bit mechanically minded because you're going to be repairing it a lot. I know he's had quite a few problems with it and hasn't had a lot of joy with warranties, so... But I'm sure they're going to get a lot better. But then again, nowadays, a lot of the Japanese bikes aren't made in Japan, so... And I was reading the other day a uh, thing, it was either in Bike Magazine or Ride or some... one of those publications. And they were talking about Chinese bikes and how they might well be taking over in the future. And they were saying that uh, some of the common bikes on the roads now that you know as Japanese aren't. Get past this one. So, for example, the YBR 125, which is a very, very common bike. I think it's one of the best selling bikes there is in the 125 category, which probably means it's one of the best selling bikes there is because the 125s are, are the ones that get sold over here, aren't they? A lot for, for teenagers and what have you. Well, the YBR 125 is. Although it's a Yamaha, it's a Chinese bike now. So, um, you know, you, you might be buying Chinese without even realising it. And I know that there's certain things, um, I believe some Apulia parts and some uh, Ducatis are built in China now as well. And when you actually start looking at the bits of your bike, I think you might be surprised by what you found was made in China. So I think it's really, I don't know whether whether I'm trying to justify it to myself after buying Chinese levers, who knows, it's that strange thing, a bit of cognitive dissonance for you, but, you know, they're making pretty much everything in China nowadays, only time will tell what, um, what happens in terms of quality, I guess, but yeah, I suppose the one that I have not heard about anything being made in China is Harley Davidson's. But then again, I've been told that reliability on a Harley is not that good anyway. <coughs> There's 500 subs gone. <laughs> I've been told. I didn't say it myself. I've been told. <laughs> Apologies, Harley Davidson owners. Reliability, good or bad, I don't know. But um, either way, I have some gorgeous bikes, the Harleys, and they sound brilliant. There, am I redeemed? If you made it that far, <laughs> sub me back again. I'll see them in the messages. You were subscribed to by... Hang on, I thought I was already subscribed to by him. <laughs> Offended, unoffended. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I'll, I'll shut up now before I offend everybody. <laughs> I've offended Harley Davidson owners and I've offended Sinis Apache owners. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I love you all, really. Anyway... Thanks for watching. I'm going to go and try my leave us some more. Ride safe, everyone. And I'll talk to you all again soon.